We got a double, double dose header. of Monday night football, which everybody loves. Two games we know is better than one. And I only st- locked in on the one, though, the first one, to be honest with you. Well, that makes sense because that's the commander's next opponent. Mm, in the right. Eagles, they were taking on the Bucks. Had a relatively easy time with them, a 25-11 to 11 They looked a little win. shaky early on, right? Just, well, he didn't really get going. Jalen Hurts then, looked a little bit uneven at quarterback. Well, like, he, yeah. he was sick. Oh, he was he was sick. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. that kind of makes pretty, sense. I'm pretty sure he was sick. So he did throw a dime to Zacchaeus for a touchdown. That was I a mean, literally, pass. he was one one hundredth of a second away from getting sacked. He was about to get crushed on that yeah. play. But yeah. hey, give him credit. He stood in the pocket he did. and he delivered a strike downfield mm-hmm. for the touchdown. So the Eagles That had, was pretty much a blowout because the Bucks didn't score their touchdown to their last possession. Right. It's true. It was twenty five to three. They were always up. And they ran for another 200 and some yards. The last two weeks, they've just been killing Looks people. Looks like on the DeAndre ground. Swift has really pulled yeah. ahead in the in the running back derby there in Philly. Gainwell was back. He had missed a game with the bruised ribs. He, I think, he had 14 carries. Yep. Still had a roll, but DeAndre Swift, Swift averaged eight a carry. Yeah, I mean, he was just He's gouging just the Bucks. Mm-hmm. I don't know how on you, the ground. I mean. I, I mean, I know we're going to probably lose, but I don't I don't even know what your approach is. Is your approach just stop the run and force Hurst to beat you? I, I don't even His know. Arm? I don't know how don't you know. attack that team. And then on the other side, Jalen Carter made an amazing play. I'm sure you guys saw it where mm-hmm. he just tracks down Rashad White, who would caught a short pass. And, I mean, Rashad White's a running back, fleet of foot. He tracked him down and punched the ball loose for mm-hmm. the defense, creating a turnover. Uh, that dude falling, was he the ninth pick? I think he fell Something to the ninth like pick for Something the like Eagles. That, yeah. That's going to be a problem for the commanders for the next 10, ten years. Ten years, Because yeah. that dude is a baller. Well, I mean, that team's going to be a problem. For <laughs> that, well, most is, most yes. of their studs are younger. The thing is, I was tweeting last night. I was like, man, watching this is going to be a, take a miracle. And, of course, you know, I'm a homer. I love the commanders, you know, I mean, even with all the drama and all the yeah. nonsense, I root for them every week, of course. Mm-hmm. But all of the real diehards just hit me up. Well, well, you know, we beat them last year. And I go, yeah. I know we beat them last year, but that was a really unique situation. They had one specific weakness that we exploited. They've obviously plugged that hole mm-hmm. in the middle of the D line. I mean, they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, they're playing great. And I think their offense is better. I mean, you, I, I would is, say we have a one in ten chance. The HTTC Probably. crowd. They can't handle it. They won't accept honesty. When you look at the opponent that's upcoming and you look at them rationally and actually assess them and like, hey, that's a that's a pretty formidable team that will be facing this upcoming Sunday. Mm -hmm. Their their brains can't compute. They they just their brains overload. I mean, I know anybody can beat anybody, obviously. Yeah, (laughs) but I think if we played them ten times, we'd lose nine. That's my yeah, guess. I'd say probably eight or nine. You probably lose. Yeah, probably I mean, with the current. They're accurate. really, they're really playing well. Yeah, and you know they're just now that Swift has turned into the Swift of you know four years ago, right? When he was, and they're actually utilizing him and giving him the ball. Yeah, like I he mean, actually has a big, big role there. That just means they're just. I mean, he's better than Miles Sanders. Oh, he's that. He, so he, when they had Sanders, and Sanders was pretty good. Especially I mean, out of Swift, the backfield, but Swift is better than him. He just has a different level. Like when you can tell, like when he touches the ball compared mm-hmm. to like Gainwell. Mm-hmm. Gainwell's a fine player, but Swift just has like that next gear where right. like he breaks through the line. You just you just see him. You're like, this dude is just different. Right. Like he's he's his talent level is just different. If he's healthy, he's one of the best in the league. Absolutely, and running behind that offensive line, right? It's Looking like a pretty good combo through the first three weeks. Look, in this game, I mean, obviously, um, Sam has to play mistake-free, but the defensive line for Washington just has to play out of their minds. And they got to do a great job getting pressure on Hurts. they got to stop Swift. I mean, it's, it's a tough job, man. It's going to be tough. It'd be t- it's going to be tough. So, I just, I you know, I, the way I am, this is just the way I am as a human. Like I did this past week, I just, I assumed we were going to lose, and I was just hoping we could <clears> pull off an upset. So it didn't really bother me other than how playing so bad because I just knew that was just going to make the week tougher. But um, I'm going to do the same thing this week. I'm just going to assume we're going to lose, and hopefully they surprise me. And maybe we could steal it in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And I know people don't like that attitude, but sorry. 
That's the only way I can deal with it. I can't go into this game and be fist pumping from the first play, get emotionally involved, only to be set up to be crushed. No, you're you you're, stabbed in my heart. You're establishing yourself, but you're readying yourself. I'm preparing for, myself for for, a, for a t- probably a tough loss. Look, yeah. if Washington would have won Sunday, and you beat Buffalo, and then you come, you approach this totally different. Sure, I would have more of confidence. Yeah, so. But, the way that they but I also do know, by the same token, that things are week to week. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the week before we scored 35 points. This week we scored three. You right. know, it's crazy how the league is. Um, but you kind of react to what you did the week before. You, you do. You do. And I do expect it to play better. Um, but Yeah, I mean, they'll score more than three points, right. I think. And by the way, in a classic uh, case of the squeaky <clears throat> wheel gets the, the grease, A.J. Brown... We saw him bitching and moaning and, like, getting in uh, Jalen Hurts' face in the sideline of yeah, the last game. He made game his point. Where he didn't feel like he was being involved enough. Well, he was. how about he was targeted 14 times and had nine grabs for 131 yards. They targeted him nine more times than Devontae. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> his voice is kind of loud in the locker room. Yep, definitely. And on the other side, Mike Evans had five for 60 and a touchdown all he's doing is making himself more and more millions. <clears throat> Although because... he did drop a very catchable ball in the end zone, I thought. Sure, it happens. But yeah. he's still a stud. And he is. He couldn't come to an agreement with the Bucs, uh, I guess, before the season. So it looks like he's not in their plans. But somebody's going to pay that dude a ton of money. Why is he not in, in their the plans? Off-season. They just don't want to pay him. I guess they just 30s, feel like he's too yeah, old. They, they probably feel like we're kind of in a rebuild at this point. You're not in our long-term plans for the next three or four years. Even though all he does is produce. It's what he does. I mean, mm-hmm. He just goes out there and catches balls and touchdowns. Yeah. At 30 years old, he's got 84 <clears throat> touchdowns for them. Right. Well, he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's legit. I mean, he's. I think he's had 1,000 yards every single season of his career. But this mm-hmm. is the other thing that kind of would disturb you from, the, uh, from a commander standpoint. I mean, Tampa only had 41 yards rushing. Right. Mm-hmm. And they only had a total of 174 yards of offense. Mm-hmm. So it's not just the offense that Philly can beat you with. Their defense, obviously, is legit. No, no, for sure. And I think that's what we exploited last year, if you remember. Mm-hmm. They had an issue at D-tackle, and they right away afterwards, they signed guys, they've done drafted guys, they've shored that up. Mm-hmm. Just a much tougher team. Going to take, gonna take a... Gonna take a, a a minor miracle case. <laughs> it would take a massive effort for the Commanders to win that one. Not only win it, but win it on the road in Philadelphia. Have to see if uh, Sam Howell's got that bounce back game in him. It's gonna Phil- be interesting. Philadelphia. They, I saw the story yesterday that that stadium is the most dangerous stadium in all of football. <laughs> oh, really? Because I thought I saw a, a story that said FedEx is one of the most dangerous stadiums. Well, I think so, well, in what way? Uh, I think in terms of like arrests. Fights, that fights kind of inside stuff. the stadium. I oh, thought okay. it was probably arrests, but I, I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw the headline. I'm it seems surprised. like, by the way, it's a weekly <laughs> occurrence where there's a viral video now of just people losing wild their minds. fights at NFL games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I guess people are stupid. When there are 50, 60, 70 thousand people in a concentrated area, you're going to have some civil unrest at times. But. <laughs> Don't people go to games to have fun and just have a like for entertainment? Like, well, if you notice the people that are on somebody, they're not like uh, guys who are bringing their kids and everything. They're a bunch of hillbillies just I, out there getting hammered. I, I know, I get it. They've probably been in the parking lot drinking since yeah. nine in the morning and they just can't can't comport themselves in public. Right. But man, it just it makes you think. Like, you know, I'm pretty good in my basement watching on my <laughs> on my seventy inch yeah. flat screen instead right. of. Being there and having just maniacs in your your section, like two rows away, trying to kill each other. Yeah, my other. buddy, my buddy um, <clears throat> had a suite for the Bills game. Yeah, and he rented a you know big van and everything. Uh-huh. He said, "You want to come on out? I'm going, I'm going to got the suite, right? Fully catered." I said, mm, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass." <laughs> right. Even I, though that's the way to go. I mean, if you're gonna watch a game, you get you know obviously you get a van or some sort of shuttle. Right. And then you get a fully like catered suite. Great I like the club I said, level. Nah. Yeah, I said, you stay at home. I'm stay at home and watch the games by myself. I'm an NFL homebody. <clears throat> yep. I, don't, I don't need to be in your stadium. Well, you know my guy Joe P is a Dolphins fan. And a huge Dolphins fan. And his whole family is. And they want to come down and go to the game. And I said, oh, I, might be so able to, annoying. 
I might. Well, no, I, lo- I like seeing him, so it's fine. I know, but you'd be rooting for the Dolphins all the time. Tua throws five touchdowns. He'd yeah. be in your ear. That's true. You see what Tua just did? You, you're he not really defense. thinking about doing that, are you? No, I am. Oh, yeah, are? sure. But I got to figure out mm. if, who our connections might be. Yeah, you got to jump any. through a lot of hoops. I'll talk to our guy. Yeah, talk to your guy. I just gotta yeah, you, got, you know what? At our age, I mean, at I any pay, age, but... actually, having a ticket guy, <clears throat> having a ticket guy yeah. is like, <laughs> one of the best. It's probably the best hookup ever. I think the commanders are one of the few things that we don't really have a great connection with. We may have to work on that angle. Yeah. We may have to try to finesse that and nurture but, and cultivate. But anyway, if you're out there and you're listening, just hit me up. You can always call your guy, J-Dub. Which one's oh, J-Dub? That is true. Call J-Dub. Uh, the team uh, president? Nah, I'm not going to bother him. <laughs> now, that is a, that's an in-case-of-emergency break glass. Yeah, that's like good. a last resort bit. I don't, I don't like doing that. But anyway, that's it, where you and I differ. That, that's um, where you would you would deploy that. Sure, that that's one that I may go to this year. I don't know. I mean, unless I had a closer relationship with someone who could get me tickets, yeah. which I don't, mm. I would just go directly to if that I source. Go, if I go to, I would I would I would want to do the tailgate experience, sure. do the whole thing. I just wouldn't be a big fan of bringing somebody to the game that's going to be wearing the opposing team's laundry. It's it's just going to be drawing all sorts of attention to me. I've I've done it before. I took I took those guys to the Nats I, game. Well, They're all wearing their Mets gear. Apparently, it doesn't phase you. You you don't worry about those things. But like, well, if they're the ones like wearing it, not t- me. That'd be like drab T-shirt going to a Seahawks game. <laughs> And dragging along a, a Niners fan dressed in the Niners gear. You yeah, just went yeah, yeah, well. Maybe some people can't do it. And you cannot compare a Nats game to an NFL game. You just, they're different crowds. I mean, you see on the internet every Monday morning about every brawl right. at a yeah, stadium. Yeah, but every honestly, Sunday. I've been to the FedEx with people. FedEx is pretty accommodating. It's generally an accommodating they, crowd. They don't, they don't care. Now, you wouldn't they, do that they in tease you. We, we just saw I just cra- saw some Ravens dude guy. in a Ravens jersey get his uh, saw, life, the is, life beaten out of him. That is true. I saw that too, but <laughs> I've also been to many games. that ra- they, they mostly just kind of tease you. It's not a serious thing. Hmm. That's my, oh, been my yeah, experience. I don't, I don't think you're going to get into a fight. No, you, you, have to, you have to be a willing participant most yeah, of the time. Yeah, I mean, I think they mostly just tease you. It's mild. Whatever. And yep. Trust me. If they want to fight Joe P, good luck. <laughs> Good luck. At it. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's got like the state uh, bench press record. I'm guessing he'll, I'm guessing if he was pushed to it, he would fight. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's averse to fighting. Right. Yeah. He'd but be all the, about it. Yeah. But it, it, but it, a feisty that. New York Italian. Yeah, he's going to he, He's not, he's not, a, he has no problem with that. But I don't think, yeah, I think it'll be mellow. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Right. Not like there's a million, uh, it's not some huge rivalry. There would be some Dolphins. casual ribbing, and yeah, then it would just be would left be. at that. Now, Philly's a different story. Right. The New York's a different story. We're pretty mild here in D.C. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a very accommodating fan base yeah. for the most part. Hmm. But that's I, down the road. I don't even think about that yet. Yeah. Coming up on a Tuesday show here on the Junks, you got Doc Walker, host of the Burgundy Gold <clears> Post Game <throat> Show here on 1067 The Fan. He will join us coming up at 720. I'm sure he's got lots of thoughts on the beatdown administered by Buffalo this past weekend, and we'll look forward to the matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles. 